Welcome students. Today we are going to learn about the classification of animals. It is a classification of animals. It is classification of animals. So let's start with a classification definition. It is a group and subgroup of animals on the basis of their similarities and differences among them very simple definition a group and subgroup of animals on the basis of their similarities and differences among them it is a definition of classification of animals so get it so uh, next we will start in our book they have given a chart is look like living organisms got it okay so in that living organism they are categorized they are categorized into an two bifurcations or two types it is one is a prokaryotes and second one is eukaryotes pro means before but in that we will be take it as a not well developed and u means true or well developed कैरियोट का मीनिंग होता है न्यूक्लियस ठीक है सो प्रोकैरियोट मींस नॉट वेल डेवलप्ड न्यूक्लियस और सेल ऑर्गेनल्स एंड यूकैरियोट का मतलब होता है ट्रू और वेल डेवलप्ड न्यूक्लियस सेल्स और ऑर्गेनल्स सो इन द प्रोकैरियोट्स ओनली वन किंगडम इज इंक्लूडेड और कैटेगराइज इट इज नोन एज मोनेरा क्या हम इसका किंगडम मोनेरा मोनेरा मीन्स अ सॉलिडरी और इन ए सिंपल लैंग्वेज इट इज एन सिंगल सेल ऑर्गेनिजम सो इन दैट यू कैरी ऑफ इट विल बी कैटेगराइज अंडर टू सब टाइटल्स वन इज अ यूनी सेलुलर एंड सेकेंड वन इज अ मल्टी सेलुलर सो यूनिमेंस वन एंड मल्टीमेंस मोर देन टू सो यूनी सेलुलर का मतलब सेल्स एक सेल वाले जितने भी ऑर्गेनिजम है दो आर कॉल्ड एस यूनी सेलुलर एंड मोर देन टू और नंबर ऑफ सेल्स जिस ऑर्गेनिज्म में प्रेजेंट है इट इज नोन एज मल्टी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म in the unicellular organism uh, only one kingdom is categorized and known is protista kya naam hai iska protista see ab uh, aapka confusion nahi hoga ki prokaryotic mein bhi unicellular mein ek mone raha hai eukaryotic mein bhi unicellular mein ek hi kingdom protista hai to dono mein difference kya hai yes they are in some similar disease is mein bhi single cell hai is mein bhi single cell but in that prokaryotes all cells are not well defined or well developed but in that eukaryotic kingdom protista the cells are well developed well functional and well categorized okay so in that multicellular uh, organisms they are again categorized into an two subtypes the first one is a uh, with cell wall and second one is the without 
cell bond. See, uh, in that 8th standard, 7th standard or 9th standard, we have studied about uh, two types of organism. The first one is the uh, plant and second one is the animal. The plant has the plant cell wall and the animal has cell membrane. See, that's why the plants have again harder than the animals. So, when the cell wall is again bifurcated into an two types, the first one is the autotrophs and second one is the heterotrophs. Ab auto ka matlab hai cell and trough ka matlab hai dependent on food. So self dependent on food and hetero ka matlab hota hai the others. They will be dependent on other for the food. So autotroph mein ek hi kingdom aata hai kingdom planti and heterotroph mein aata hai kingdom fungi. So, a last one bacha hai without the cell wall. Without cell wall, may ek hi kingdom aayega. Kingdom Animalia. See, in that whole chart, we have studied about a five kingdom system. That's why this classification is known as five kingdom system. Uh, there are so many types of kingdom system, three kingdom system, five kingdom system, seven kingdom system, nine kingdom system. But in the 10th standard, we have studied about only a five kingdom system. So uh, let it, uh, it will be uh, summarized as Prokaryote, eukaryote, kingdom monera is comes under the prokaryote, it is a unicellular. In that eukaryote, unicellular and the multicellular, uni means one. It categorized under one uh, kingdom is known as the kingdom protista. In that multicellular, they are again two bifurcation with cell wall and without cell wall. With cell wall, uh, they are again divided into an autotroph and heterotroph, kingdom plantae and kingdom fungi, and it is in the kingdom animal. So the question may arise in your mind कि आप इसे ध्यान में कैसे रखोगे? ये तो सब लोग पढ़ा देंगे। तो इसे पढ़ने का या इसे याद करने का एक सिंपल तरीका है जो मैं आज आपको बताऊंगा। So uh, out of that we will be start with the longest one kingdom, the kingdom plant. इसे याद कैसे रखते हैं? Kingdom plant ही it is a autotroph with cell wall, multicellular eukaryotic living organism है ना सिंपल कैसे kingdom planty it is a autotroph with cell wall multicellular eukaryotic living organism अब second one को देखते हैं कि kingdom fungi कैसे आते हैं kingdom fungi it is a heterotroph with cell wall multicellular eukaryotic living organism kingdom animalia भी कैसे आते हैं kingdom animalia Without cell wall, multicellular, eukaryotic living organism. A protista ko kaise yaad rakhenge? In the protista, unicellular, eukaryotic living organism. And the last one, the kingdom Monera is the prokaryotic living organism. That's it. Okay. So the next point is the benefits of classification of animals so what are the benefits of classification of animal that is a real motto of that chapter so motto kya hai first one hai about evolution and adapt so, see how the classification will help uh, to know more about the evolution and adaptation. So, it will be look like see, what we will be observing our uh, genus or the, our grouping in that human being, the mammalian, the all mammalian.
polynomial are having a different look but they comes out from a single ancestor and that means the classification of animal it provide information about evolution and along with the adaptations second way it is provide a uh, easy way to study the animals ab kaise easy way hoga dekh maan lo ki abhi hame ye corona ki condition mein jo cases chal rahe yahan pe jitna bhi study ho raha hai jab yahan pe vaccine ki testing ho rahi hai वैक्सीन की टेस्टिंग हम बाकी एनिमल पे कर रहे हैं ना कि ह्यूमन बींग पे बट उसका इफेक्ट कैसे होगा ह्यूमन बींग पे ये हम आज कंक्लूड कर सकते हैं या हमारे साइंटिस्ट आज कंक्लूड करें ये कैसे पॉसिबल है इट इज ड्यू टू द क्लासिफिकेशन क्योंकि क्लासिफिकेशन में जितने भी एक ग्रुप में पर्सन आते हैं या ऑर्गेनिजम आते हैं ऑल आर शोइंग सिंपल वे सिंपल सेम फिन अलॉन्ग विद सो नेक्स्ट है इट इज इट इज प्रोवाइड इवोल्यूशन एंड एडेशन स्टडी ऑफ एन एनिमल तो नेक्स्ट होता है इसमें इट विल प्रोवाइड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द हैबिटेट see actually the habitat is the important one uh, character which will be shown by the animals maan lo ki ab dekho like a human being human being pahadi pe rehte hai kya rehte hai lekin wahan pe wo kaise rahenge kisi plateau pe kaise rahenge kisi plain mein kaise rahenge aur kisi ye depend kar 